Hello everyone. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Home is Where Our Heart Is. My name is Dane. And I'm Steli. And we're the proud authors of the book, Knowledge to Forage. And today we're absolutely blessed to be spending our time frolicking in the fresh country air. Oh, it's lovely out in these hedgerows. We're going to be learning today how to make some chutney. Yep, yeah, so come with us and pick some fruit along the way and then we're going to take it home and make some chutney. And welcome back to our humble home. Here we are and we're going to make some apple and rose hip spiced chutney. Super easy peasy recipe. Come with us and I'll show you how to make it. For this recipe you can use any fruit that you find and we're going to use rose hips, apples, some mixed dried fruit, raisins and cranberries, an onion, some cider vinegar, pepper, cinnamon, ginger, salt, and some sugar. Step one, with your rose hips, if you haven't had a frost yet, you're gonna fake the frost by popping them in the freezer overnight. And then in the morning, when you're ready to make your chutney, pop them in a colander, run them under some hot water and defrost them. By faking the frost, your rose hips become sweeter and softer. Measure out one cup of rose hips, Chip chop your rose hips, take the ends off, give a little slice down the middle and pop in your saucepan. Add two cups of water, one, two. Bring to the boil and simmer for 20 minutes. After five minutes of simmering, give it a good mash. Now the rose hips have been simmering for 20 minutes, we're gonna take it off the heat and just leave it to cool. Now it's time to prepare your chutney. Get your apples and peel them. Chip chop your apples into small square chunks. Add three cups of apples to your saucepan. One, two, three. Don't throw away your apple scraps because in our book, Knowledge to Forage, we teach you how to make fruit scrap vinegar. Chip chop half an onion into small pieces. And add to the apples. Measure out three cups of mixed raisins. One, two, three. Add one cup of sugar. One. Give it all a stir. Time for the spices. Add one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, whoop, half a teaspoon of black pepper, Add one cup of white vinegar. Any white vinegar would do. We're going to use apple cider vinegar. One cup of vinegar. And last but not least, one teaspoon of salt. Give it all a mix up. Pop on a high heat, bring to the boil and then down to a simmer for about an hour. We've been simmering for an hour. We're gonna take off the heat, and just run the spoon through, and if the channel's not filling up 
loads with vinegar, then you know you're done. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now we've prepared our chutney, we just need to finish doing our rose hips. So we've got our lovely rose hip puree here. If we just put this into here, then we're going to end up with loads of little hairs that live inside the rose hips that are actually really irritating and we don't want that. So we've got ourselves a nice fine mesh material and we're just going to strain all those hairs away. So let's pour the rose hip juice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we're just going to gather up all our material. You can use a cheesecloth, you can use some muslin. We've just got this material that we use. And our puree is nice and cool now, so we're not going to burn ourselves. Okay, give it a good squeeze. What a sound. <laughs> the rose hips are such an amazing little fruit, the fruit from the rose. Be sure to check out our other videos, how to make rose hip lip balm, how to make rose hip oil, really good for your skin, how to make rose hip syrup or rose hip cordial, packed full of vitamin C. And they're all available on our YouTube or in our book. Wowzers, look at that rose hip puree. For the final step, we just add our puree to the chutney. Mm -mm -mm. Give it a mix up. Now it might look a bit runny but the great thing about apples and rose hips is that they're full of pectin which is a thing that will thicken up our chutney. They use it in jams and chutneys so don't worry too much as it cools in the jar it will start to thicken up into a lovely chutney consistency. So now to talk about jars. We're going to use a clip top jar like this, not one with a metal screw top lid because the vinegar in your chutney will react with your metal lid and it will start to corrode it. So get your hands on some of these clip top jars. Ta-da! It won't corrode the lid. We're going to add our chutney to our jar. Our jar's nice and room temperature, not cold. In it goes. So the great thing about this chutney, guys, is that it tastes so good that once it's cooled down, you can just pop it on a cracker and enjoy it straight away. Or we can seal it up now. And this chutney will now last for about six months to a year, completely sealed. Or once it's opened in the fridge, it will last for a month. And as you leave it to do its thing in the jar over a few months, the vinegar flavour starts to go away and the fruity flavours come out a lot more. So the taste matures, as they say, and you get a fine chutney. Or you can just enjoy it straight away. And there we have it. Ta-da! Lovely chutney. Yum, Lovely yum, yum. chutney. Rose hip and apple chutney. So easy to make, guys. Really easy. Mm. And we're going to go for a taste test. Taste test time. Mmm. Yeah. Tastes amazing. And the amazing thing about chutney is its, its taste changes over time. Lots of people leave it for a good six months or a year until they consider it a fully potent chutney. But you can eat it fresh or leave it for as long as you want. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to make, definitely going to make some of these as presents for people. Yep, we've got so jar them up. Lots of batches behind us. Leave them for a couple of months and then people will get some nice Christmas goodies. Yeah, we're gonna give them out at Christmas. <laughs> Cheap, beautiful Christmas presents. Handmade. Handmade, <laughs> everyone loves a handmade gift. Mm. 
So thanks for watching everybody. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Any questions, just pop them in the comments below. If you do make it, then send us a picture and yeah, yeah. show us what you do with it. And do all the modern world things, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Join us over on Facebook yeah. where we're often putting things about what we're up to, what recipes we're doing, what um, fruits and plants <laughs> we're foraging. <laughs> Updates on everything we're doing. And if you need to find a book, we have a very good book. Yeah, check out our book, <laughs> Knowledge to Forage. It's awesome. It's over on Amazon where you can buy it at the moment. So check that out. And we'll see you all next time. Peace.